Dog Brain. In an old house in Paris, all covered with vines, live twelve little girls in two straight lines. Voilà, my scar! <laughs> they left the house at half past nine. <gasps> in two straight lines. The smallest one was Madeline. In Paris, one of the greatest joys is visiting the shops of toys. Ooh. There were trains and cars and cuckoo clocks, bears and bunnies, piles of blocks. Ah. Oh, Miss Clavel, may we go in the shop and see the toys? We oui, please, Miss Clavel. Well, I suppose so, but only to look, not to buy. Once in the shop, the girls went wild. Toys can do that to a child. Now, you little girls, calm down. I am so sorry. The girls were only playing. Look at my beautiful store and my hair, do! We are sorry. Please forgive us. Apologies were said once more, and the girls all headed out the door. You! <coughs> leaving the poor clerk on the floor. Outside, the girls just had to gape at the dolls of every size and shape. What fun you can have with a doll like me! Silly, Madeline, you are fun as a girl, but a doll is the perfect friend. Not as perfect as a real little girl. Now come, mes enfants, I have a surprise for you. A little man raced down the stairs. His moustache had some orange hair. Ah, Miss Clavel, at last you arrive. <laughs> <gasps> and these must be your beautiful girls. Bonjour. Bonjour. And so well behaved. Well, most of the time. I hope it will be satisfactory to uh, take a tour of my toy factory. Is it true? I cannot believe it. Will we see them make dolls? Oh, we, oui, of course. And other wonderful toys, too. But nothing is as wonderful as a doll. Hello, see, mes amis.
girls could not believe their eyes, for in each new room, a new surprise. And the biggest toy of all was a giant bouncing ball. Oh, Mother Lyle, look out! Do not worry, Miss Clavel. I will not let your girls bounce away. Then Monsieur Larue said, Before you bounce right off the walls, uh, uh, perhaps you would like to dress some dolls? Dress dolls? Certainement! Oui, oui, allons-y! Then in a moment, in a snap, each girl had a beautiful doll in her lap. I will be outside talking to Monsieur Larue. Now you girls behave. And do not touch that conveyor belt, s'il vous plaît, or you may wind up in a box. A box? And on a delivery truck. Do not worry, Miss Clavel. We will be careful. Twelve little girls were left to play while the two old friends chatted away. Voila! My doll! Très jolie, Madeleine. She looks just like you. Now guess which one is the doll. Hide your eyes. Now you may look. <gasps> Which, Which one, one is the real Madeline? <laughs> <laughs> I fooled you, Chloe. <laughs> Me and my doll, we would dance the can can. Me and my doll. The dolls dance with the happy girl. Stop. She stood up once, Ooh. but then she flipped. Oops. And was soon all boxed up to be shipped. Miss Clavel, come to sweet. Madeline is gone. It was just as Miss Clavel had feared. Madeline had disappeared. She was packed in a box and out the door on her way to a big toy store. Everybody had to cry. Not a single eye was dry. I'm a doll! <laughs> said Madeline with a giggle as she gave her toes a wiggle. The streets of Paris are bumpy, and Madeline got a little jumpy. Oh. On the other side of Paris, in a great big chateau, a girl named Giselle was feeling quite low. Well, Dr. Cohn, how is my little Giselle? Dr. Cohn showed his concern and said, What all Giselle needs least is bed. Her fever is gone and she is getting stronger every day. But she needs something to lift her spirits so she can fully recover. I don't know what else to get her. Giselle already has everything a girl could want. What this little girl needs is a sunny day and some friends to share it with. But she has no friends. Hmm. Big truck screeched to a short stop as Madeline arrived at the toy shop. Jolie, 
what a beautiful doll and so realistic. Soon Madeline was on the shelf between a pony and an elf. Merci. Hmm? And she curtsies and says thank you. <laughs> oh? This was the best game she had ever played. <laughs> so she continued her charade. Ah. And in no time, someone thought it pleasant to purchase Madeline as a present. Moments after Madeline was brought, the group of girls raced in, distraught. Vite, vite, my petite! We will find her here, I am sure! The clerk wrote the name of Madeline's owner. And if you like to, you may phone her! Merci, merci beaucoup. Oh? Miss Clavel dialed the number in a tizzy, but alas, the line was busy. Madeline's box bumped to and fro as they reached a large chateau. Hoping to give Giselle's spirit a lift, Yvette presented her with the gift. Bonsoir, ma petite chou. Bonsoir, maman. I have a surprise for you, Giselle. Another doll? Voila! A new friend! I will be up soon to get you for supper. Madeline! <laughs> Do not worry, jeune fille. Monsieur Larue and I will be back with Madeline before you go to bed. Vite! Vite! Clearly, something was not right as the taxi screeched through town that night. And afraid of a disaster, Miss Clavel said, Please, go faster! Until Monsieur Larue said, Please, be careful how you drive! We'd like to reach Madeline alive! What do you think, Teddy? Shall we call her Yvette after Maman? Things went off without a hitch until Madeline felt an itch. Did you scratch your nose? You are almost real. As Madeline walked across the floor, Giselle cried out, Encore! Encore! You are the most wonderful doll, Yvette. Other children will not play with me because I cannot run and jump like them. Madeline thought, Mmm, mm, that looks sweet. Then remembered that real dolls cannot eat. In the old house, tears were shed as the girls sat down to break their bread. Surprise! What a shock! This doll could dance as well as walk. <laughs> I am so happy, Yvette. Now I have a friend. Then Madeline was placed up on a shelf, left in the dark room all by herself. Then in a moment of great elation, the taxi arrived at its destination. All along it was...
was expected that Madeline would soon be detected. <laughs> Madeline felt quite relieved, but Giselle felt she had been deceived. Her new favorite doll, her bon ami, was no more than a fantasy. Please understand, I am a real little girl. My name is Madeline, and I want to go home. <laughs> but it was really fun being your doll. Ah, oh, Giselle, I will come back tomorrow with a new doll and a whole trunk full of beautiful clothes. Au revoir. Au revoir. <laughs> Now I've lost my only friend. <laughs> oh, Madeline, we are so glad you are back. We, oui, Madeline, thank goodness you are here. We were so worried. We love our bread, we love our butter, but most of all, we love each other. Back at home, the girls broke their bread, and brushed their teeth, and went to bed. Bon nuit, mes petites. Sleep well and be thankful we are all together again. Bon nuit, mes Monsieur Larue did what he said. He brought a doll, some clothes, and a bed. But nothing could cheer up Giselle or help her broken heart get well. Come, Giselle, and have a tea party with this beautiful doll. No, Mama. I miss Madeline. She would have played in the garden with me. Perhaps, but she is not here now. Oh, please eat your breakfast, ma chérie. It will give you more energy to play. Please eat your breakfast, ma chérie. It will give you more energy to play. Although the day was bright with sun, Madeline could not have fun. Deep in her heart, she felt a pain. Giselle's sad face came to mind again. I did not want to help Giselle. I was only playing a game. I know, ma chérie. She was so much fun at tea parties, and she could even dance when she tried. Before another word was said, a plot brewed in Miss Clavel's head. As if Madeline read her mind, she decided it would be kind to see the girl she left behind. <laughs> we are here to play with a picnic to brighten Giselle's day. And I liked playing with Giselle so much that I brought my 11 friends. Oh, Giselle will be so happy. Giselle, there is someone here to see you. <gasps> Madeline! <laughs> Come, Giselle. There is a surprise for you outside. Surprise? Outside? Outside, there was a delicious spread. Bonbons, berries, cheese, and bread. And some hungry girls waiting to be fed. Bonjour, bonjour, they said in greeting. And with that began their eating. They finished eating, and before they knew it, Giselle was playing. She could do it. Oh, I have never seen Giselle so happy. You are so kind to come here. Ah, but you must thank Madeline. She is the one who thought to visit with all the girls. They laughed all day, feeling quite cheery. And so, the beautiful princess and the... Until evening came and they got weary. And lived happily ever after. I am so happy to be your friend, Giselle. And Miss Clavel said we can come back to play again. I am glad you are not a doll, Madeline. Then Madeline asked if it was all right for Giselle to come and stay the night. Oh, please, may I, Mama? Oui, ma 
Masheri. Au revoir. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. When I come home, will we play outside more often, Mama? Oh, we 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 will. Back at home, they skipped their bread, but they brushed their teeth and went to bed. Then Miss Clavel kissed each one on the head. I am very proud of you, Madeline. You made someone very happy today. I am happy too, Miss Clavel, because now I have a new friend. Bonne nuit, mes enfants. Good night, my children. Could they be asleep already? <laughs> oh, mes enfants, how glad I am that you are real little girls. And she turned out the light and she closed the door. And that's all there is. There isn't any more. Be tough. Then you should get to know me. I'll teach you 